I'm Richard Jack Smith of Real Talk Movie Reviews. Christopher Wong's The Royal Bride represents all that's great and pure about modern film music. With an astounding love theme, crisp reverb and a perceptive tone, it's an instant favourite for 2020. Check out the subtle fantasy writing in Trespassing. Elsewhere, assorted percussive tingles and woodwinds lift the mood considerably. Also check out the singing and classical violin behind Arrival at the Palace. While I enjoyed Wong's work on Sword of the Assassin, The Royal Bride goes to another level entirely. It's the type of score which can elevate a composer from merely good to A-lister. Beautiful emotions formed with clarity and taste make The Royal Bride a contender for score of the year. I give it my highest recommendation, 5 out of 5 stars. This week's mini review. I'm not feeling much excitement from Robo Warriors. Composer Richard Band launches his symphonic suite in Main Title and Battling the Pterodax. The only ideas which stick with any kind of glue involve partial rip-offs of Alan Silvestri's Predator and James Horner's Aliens. The military theme from Silvestri's effort can be heard more than once. It's bland foot stomping to the nth degree. Described by Band as one of his personal favourites, it's hard to get on board with such undeveloped acoustics. Oh, and put the kettle on before hearing Robo Warriors The Battle for Earth because it's going to be a long darn ride. Ultimately, it's as bland as a $2 sandwich without the filling or any possibility of a refund. One out of five stars. For something far more edible, I suggest Ghost Warrior and Unlucky Charms. For more film and soundtrack reviews, please visit Betty Jo Tucker's website, Real Talk Movie Reviews. On Facebook, you'll find my pages, Hypnotic Movie Reviews and Hypnotic Soundtrack Reviews. I am Richard Jack Smith. If you like the video, maybe subscribe, and I will see you next time.